Hello, I'm JW. This uh, short video is really just to answer a question which has been asked a number of times by a number of different people and does seem to come up rather often. And it's to do with the fact that in most countries across the world the electricity supply is referenced to ground. And what this means is if you're standing on the ground or inside your house or in contact with pretty much anything and then you grab hold of a live wire you're going to get an electric shock from that because the, uh, basically you're completing a circuit between that live wire through your body and then into the ground which then returns to the transformer or wherever the electricity is coming from and in many cases you can be severely injured by doing that or even be killed and of course that's not something that's desirable. Now you can get things like this which is an isolating transformer and uh, the only difference between this and any other transformer is that the output is not referenced to ground at all so with these you can actually touch either of the wires that are coming out of there and not get a shock. Now obviously if you've got a hold of both of them you're going to because the main voltage is still present between the two output terminals but individually they're not referenced to ground so therefore much safer and these are typically used if you're say, testing bits of equipment that are powered as it obviously minimises the risk of getting a shock from that and I have done videos on that uh, previously. So the question then is why don't we use these types of transformer or in other words not have it referenced to ground all the time because surely that would be safer and the answer to that is, well, yes, it would be safer, but only while this actually remained isolated and there wasn't any connection to ground at all. And the problem is, in the real world, it's next to impossible to ensure that that's actually going to happen because it only needs a fault somewhere between either of those conductors, what you might call line or neutral, to ground somewhere. And then immediately you've got a reference to ground system. And again, you're then back to the same old situation where if you touch the other one and you're standing on the ground, then you get an electric shock. And bearing in mind, certainly in the UK, a single transformer often powers a whole row of houses, maybe in the entire street or maybe even larger in some cases, and a fault anywhere in one of those houses, in the street or block of flats or whatever else to ground, would go completely unnoticed initially, but then the whole rest of the system is now referenced to ground. Touching the other wire is going to give you an electric shock. And if you design the system in the way that it would actually be an isolated system, you wouldn't have things like earth conductors or earth wires in there, and therefore it will be extremely dangerous as soon as that first fault occurred. And in theory you could install equipment to detect that there was a fault to ground, but by the time you've done that you might as well just make it a ground reference system in the first place, and then you're going to put your earth wires in and things to ensure that metal work and whatever remains at or pretty much near the same voltage as the ground itself, and therefore you don't get electric shocks from it. So yes, in theory isolated ones are much safer, but in practice it's only safe while it's remaining isolated and if it's supplying say a whole row of houses or whatever simply not going to stay that way for very long. So that's the answer to that question and that's pretty much it for this time. So until next time, thanks for watching.